A school like no other, Manhattan Star Academy is growing. Our individualized curriculum was designed for children with a diverse range of special needs. Our new space means this supportive learning environment can benefit more young people. As we expand, our need for state-of-the-art instructional equipment and new technology is growing with us. MSA was founded in September of 2010, and that was our first year. We found that the schools out there were not accepting children that had other health impairments, um, had a combination of autism and um, no language, uh, strong communication issues. So we developed our school around those children. We heard about MSA while attending um, Gramercy. Caroline was a student at the preschool, and anyone that's going through the school selection process, whether it be kindergarten, middle school, high school, is afraid because in our particular situation, we have an other health impairment diagnosis. Mommy was pregnant with me, so I was out like very, very early. Like, yep, I was the smallest baby in the hospital. Caroline started off this world with a bang. She came um, to us at 25 weeks, weighing one pound, 11 inches long, and had a six-month stay in the NICU at Lenox Hill Hospital. As parents, you're scared to death when you have a baby that early, and all you have is like hope and faith. And we've been really blessed that our hope and faith led us on this path and this journey to Manhattan Star. Since Caroline has been at Manhattan Star Academy, I have seen tremendous progress from her in every, every aspect of her development. For example, her sensory processing, she used to have a lot of difficulty regulating her body and keeping her body with the group and keeping her brain with the group, and she has made so much progress. Her typing has gotten so much better as well. <laughs> you did it. High five. No. Beautiful. All right. Amazing. You want to swing with Jamie? Yeah. Okay, we'll put up a swing now. We've done the swing before, and going in um, a roundabout rotary movement has been very, very difficult for her in the past. Now she's able to move in rotary movement for much longer. What was happening for the last two years were children were graduating, but they had nowhere to go. So we did such a wonderful job of educating them, and they had nowhere to go afterwards. They would apply to schools, they would have to do pendency for a year. So some parents and myself appealed to the um, MSA board to extend the charter to age 21, and with the help of YAI's uh, real estate team, they found us a new space. I'm very excited about the new program. Uh, first of all, because there is such a need. And secondly, because we're able to do so many different things. We can create programs that really suit the needs of our students. Caroline and her peers have thrived at MSA. As they get older and continue to achieve, there's no limit to the opportunities that lie ahead. Supporting Manhattan Star Academy today will enrich those opportunities for every student who passes through our doors. Thank you. Thank you everybody that donated to the gala. This has been a dream of ours and you're continuing the dream and we're so happy to have it come true.